The Heartbleed bug is a vulnerability in the popular OpenSSL library that can allow an attacker to steal confidential or sensitive information from your servers or other infrastructure. Information like usernames, passwords, credit card data, and encryption keys are potential targets. You can use your FortiGate's IPS feature to block attempts from attackers on the internet to exploit Heartbleed and steal sensitive data. In some cases, deploying patches or fixes to your server infrastructure may take time and you may have legacy devices for which a patch will never be available. By implementing this IPS signature on your FortiGate, you'll be able to protect your devices inside your network from exploitation due to Heartbleed. What can you do to protect yourself from Heartbleed? There are two things you should do. First, you should ensure you've downloaded and enabled the latest IPS signatures for your FortiGate. A signature was created by FortiGuard Labs specifically to detect attempts to exploit the Heartbleed vulnerability. Second, you should upgrade the firmware on your FortiGate. If you're running FortiOS 5.0, you should update to patch release 7 as soon as possible. If you're running an earlier version of FortiOS, for example 4.3, your device is not vulnerable to Heartbleed. By updating the firmware on your FortiGate, you protect yourself against the exploit exposed in OpenSSL. All TLS and SSL connections to the FortiGate and your network infrastructure will now be secure against this exploit. The process to update the firmware on your FortiGate is simple. After logging into the device, you'll see your dashboard. The system information widget lists some basic information, including the firmware version of FortiOS that you're currently running. Make sure you've backed up all of your critical data on the device before proceeding in case of power failure or other unforeseen problems. Click the button marked Update in order to begin the update process. You'll reach the update page where you can install a new firmware version. Select Local Update if you've previously downloaded the firmware patch. If you haven't downloaded the patch yet, you can have your FortiGate download a copy from the FortiGuard network. Click OK and begin the installation of the patch. Your device will restart. Confirm you've installed the patch by logging into the admin panel again and checking the firmware version located in the dashboard. In our case, we'll just click Cancel because we've already upgraded. To update your IPS signatures and enable them, Click the config link in the system tree located on the left pane of the admin portal. Click FortiGuard, and the FortiGuard pane will load in the main window. In order to update your signatures, you'll have to have a valid FortiGuard subscription. If you see the green check mark, your subscription is current. Here you'll see what current IPS definitions your FortiGate is running. You'll also be able to see what other definition and engine updates your FortiGate is currently using. The best way to ensure you're always using the latest signature packages to protect your FortiGate and your FortiGate's network is to enable automatic updating of definition packages. To make sure you're getting updates, click on the AV and IPS download options link located at the bottom. You can use this menu to set up automatic scheduled updates. You can also enable push updates if you'd like. To manually update all of your AV and IPS signatures, just click the Update Now button your FortiGate will download the latest signature packages from FortiGuard. Next, we'll want to enable the latest IPS signatures and ensure we've set them up to alert us if an attacker attempts to exploit the Heartbleed vulnerability. Under the Security Profiles menu in the left-hand pane, click Intrusion Protection, then click IPS Sensors. This will bring up the Edit IPS Sensor window where you can add a filter. Right-click your current filters to bring up the Insert Filter contextual menu. Here we're going to add a filter before the current sensor. This will bring up a new window where you can customize your filter. Under Sensor Type, click the Specify Signatures radio button. In the search bar at the top of the window, type in the word Heart. This will filter out other signatures and return FortiGuard's Heartbleed signature, which we call OpenSSL TLS Heartbeat Information Disclosure. If you click on the name, a window will appear and that will provide you with additional information on that specific signature. You can now decide how you'd like to respond to an incident that's triggered by this sensor. Due to the nature of Heartbleed, we're going to choose Block All. Click the Packet Logging selection to log packets related to this attack. Click OK to continue. You'll now go back to the previous screen where you'll see the newly created sensor. 
To enable it, just click Apply. Next, you'll want to review your policies that are related to this. In the left pane, click the Policy menu. Select the interface you want to modify. In the case of Heartbleed, we want to block attempts from the outside, so we'll select the WAN1 to internal interface. Under the IPS column, right-click to bring up a contextual menu. Here you can select the new sensor we just created. Click Default to select the sensor we just updated. An alert will display, notifying you that the changes you've made are saved. Click the X to continue. And that's it. Your FortiGate will now detect attempts from attackers on the internet to exploit Heartbleed on your network. If you want to read more about Heartbleed, you can visit some of the following links. FortiGuard has a public advisory posted online. You can review that here. Fortinet has also published an extensive FAQ with answers to many common questions about Heartbleed. That's located at blog.fortinet.com. To view more videos, you can visit us online at video.fortinet.com. And if you have any ideas or feedback on other videos you'd like to see us do, send us an email, videoguides at fortinet.com. Thanks for watching.